All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and thanks for watching another one of my, kind of my, his, my his, history uh, that I've been outlining. We left off at part nine, and that's when I told you all about how intra workout nutrition had helped my recovery. I put on a lot of muscle. I got second place in Masters Nationals. So if you're tuning in to see if I got my pro card the following year, well, uh, listen up and you'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks. Uh, and this is now part 10 of my series. So uh, I left off, as you know, hopefully you watched part nine, I left off with a second place finish in 2012 at Masters Nationals. And I felt like that pro card was just right in front of me. So 2013 rolled around and I um, had continued to use my strategy with a, you know, a little bit higher frequency, two times a week for body parts, the intra-workout nutrition. And uh, I told you in the last one that I had went from 208 or 209 all the way up to about 220. Well, in 2013, now I was up to about 225, actually. So I had gained, it wasn't as big as 2012, but to gain another four or five pounds, I was super happy with. So I came in at 225 for Masters Nationals in 2013. And I, you know, I had a theory with this, I thought, it's probably going to be harder for the super heavyweights to be in the condition I'm in. So I think if I come in like I usually do, I'll make them look out of shape. That was the goal. The goal was to just come in so much harder than the other super heavyweights that I would just beat them on condition. And I was right at the 225 pound limit. So I weighed in a two, I weighed in actually slightly under 225 and they put me in heavyweights and then I said, give me 10 minutes and I drank a bunch of water. I went over 225 so they put me in the supers where I wanted to be. So I was actually at the bottom end of the super heavyweight class exactly where I wanted to be. So um, the show came and um, I ended up getting another second place. Um, I, I was pretty discouraged and I thought, man, um, there was a guy who placed ahead of me who looked 10 times better than he'd ever looked, ever. And um, that was um, very, very disappointing. I was the favorite headed into that show. I, I, I lost in my mind. Very disappointing. Extremely disappointing. So uh, what I did was, uh, after 2013, I, um, I came back in 2014. So I'm going to go through a couple years with you. 2014. Now, if you think I was frustrated in 2013, 2014 was very frustrating. So 2014, um, I was about 226, 227. I kind of, I couldn't really gain any more weight. Like I, at that point, after those last two years, I felt like gaining more weight would kind of blow out my body and I would lose what little bit of shape I had. So I didn't really get any bigger the next year. I just tried to have a really good quality look to my muscle. And I met a guy named John Anderson, and I think John and I kind of were like, you know, we're probably going to be the top two. He was in the over 35 and over 40. I was in the over 35 and over 40. And John and I talked, and I said, well, you know, if one of us wins one class, then you bow out of the other class, and then the other person gets their pro card. That had been the uh, usual customary procedure, I'll call it. So we go in the first class, and John wins and I don't. And then we go to the second class. I can't remember if it was the over 40 or the over 35, but the second class we went at night and John had already won his pro card and um, he, they called for us to line up. So we lined up and John was in line and I was like, what are you doing in line? You already won your pro card. And he, you know, he gave me some story about how um, Mannion told him he had to get in line, which turned out to not be true. So we went out there again, and I got second place, and it was like my heart was getting ripped out because he had already won his pro card. So, you know, at this stage in your career, I hear a lot of people go, well, if I didn't win everything, blah, 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 I didn't want the pro card. Well, no, I wanted it. This was my probably 15th attempt. So I actually had some very bitter feelings toward John. And later, actually, we talked about it in Toronto at a pro show up there. And uh, I got to give John a lot of credit. He just, he approached me, he said, man, I just got a feeling there's some bad blood between us. 
and I explained my situation and how I was frustrated and you know he told me well yeah I didn't have to go back out but I did but he apologized I knew he meant it so John and I we kind of patched things up and when I see him at shows now it's always great to see him um, he still owes me some steak a steak dinner which I'll take you I'm going to take you up on it John so John and I are very cool now but I wanted to share that with you because it was incredibly frustrating and I was um, just, I went home a very sad person, you know. That was the third year in a row I had a second place at a pro qualifier. So um, I'm going to cut it short there. So that's what happened in 2013, 2014, more second places. So I'm going to cut the video off now. And now you're wondering, well, did he get it the next year? Well, if you know my history, you know what happened. But I'm going to save that for our next video. So thanks for watching.